hands. Hi. Hi. My name is Michael Johnson. I'll be your physical therapy intern today. How are you doing? Good. How about you? I'm doing fine. I'm glad you're laughing. Okay. <laughs> so um, today, following your manual lift drainage, I want to do a therapy called compression therapy. Okay. So essentially what I will be doing um, with compression therapy is using those different bandages over there to wrap your arm. And essentially it's going to complement um, manual lift drainage and moving that fluid where it needs to go. So um, um, before I start this uh, therapy, um, does it sound like something you'd like to try? Yes. Okay. Now I have a few questions before we get started to make sure it's a perfect treatment for you. Um, do you have any cardiac edema? Any cardiac issues? Um, any peripheral vascular disease? Okay, do you have um, any infection? Um, what about a fracture of the right arm? Um, any kidney um, issues, problems? Okay, and uh, I want to do one more thing before we get started. I just want to go ahead and check your uh, skin sensation integrity. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna look at your arm. It's okay if I touch you? All right, so I'm just gonna look. Okay, check all the way up. Is it okay if I roll this up? Look at your um, blood flow. Looks okay. Capillary refills good. Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna do skin sensation real quick. Okay. okay. Um, now you just put your arms just like this, and all I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be touching you like this, and every time I touch you, you're gonna say yes. Okay. Okay. And I'm just gonna have you close your eyes. All right. Yes. Sorry. So, I'm going to start off, first of all, I'm going to put this on you, so it's kind of like a little compression sleeve. We're going to use this just a little bit later, I'm just going to put it on for now. Just going to roll it up, and we want this to be about two finger widths below your um, underarm, right there. It should be fine, let me twist it just a hair. Okay, you comfortable? Next, I'm going to use this bandage. Now, I'm going to be um, t explaining as I as I wrap okay. because I want you to eventually know how to do this yourself, so you can you know perform it at home. Now, during any of this process, if you feel any numbness or tingling, um, please let me know because that means I've wrapped it too tight and I need to make it a little bit looser. Okay. Right, so I'm I'm sorry, I keep numbing you. That's okay. All right, so. Um, So what you want to do is you want to make sure you're below these two bones right here, those two uh, prominent bones. Okay. You're going to go over towards the pinky. Okay. Come up. You're going to wrap around the fingers two to three times, and you're going to cover at least half of the nail, nail bed. You don't want to cover actually more, more than half. here and what I did in the beginning uh, I kind of did an anchor so I wrapped it around twice to kind of anchor it down before I started going around your fingers okay, okay. Nail bed. And you're gonna wrap around two or three times. And then come all the way back around. You can either come, I'm gonna keep coming this way. Now it looks like that's all we have to cover you for now, so I'm gonna just apply some tape. 
you always want to, if you run out with uh, any of the materials, you want to be above um, the wrist. So you don't want to run out in the hand. Okay, so I'm going to do another anchor. So if you ever run out, you're going to start another anchor. So I'm going to go towards the pinky side again. Try your best to get all the wrinkles out. If you're having trouble rolling, sometimes if you keep it a little bit closer. Control. Okay. Now that I've wrapped all your fingers, I'm just going to kind of wrap up your arm a little bit without overlapping too much. Now, what I can do is I can go ahead, first of all, let's make sure everything's covered nicely. Okay. How are you feeling? How are your fingers feeling? Feel good. Okay. Can you make a fist for me? Can I see your palm? Okay. You look alright. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move to the next step. So I'm going to roll this down, put your thumb through there. Okay. Alright. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to start with this padding. And this is just going to help pad the area. And again, with those two bones, you want to go start right below them. When you roll, you also want to make sure that it's a little bit easier if you're rolling it on with this this big roll on top. And this one's going to be a little bit uh, a looser of a roll. And I roll this one about to cover about 75% of the one that I rolled just before it. Because you want your arm to be even and the um, how round it is the girth of it. You want it to be even from your lower arm to your upper arm. In which you can go ahead and close your arm, close your uh, fist, and I'm just going to push into me. When you get to this area above your elbow, at your elbow, you're going to do something a little bit different. I'll show you here in a second. Okay, so go ahead and bend your arm for me. Okay, so see your elbow crease? When you get to the elbow, you, what you want to do is you want to add some extra layer because there's a little dip there. And since you want it to be even, I'm just gonna add a little bit extra. Curve that up. Wrap this around one more time. Okay. Now keep pushing if you can. Alright. It's okay. Now I'm going to start with this one a little bit lower. Actually, I think I started that way, so I'm gonna start. When you wrap these, um, if you ever run out, you want to start wrapping in the opposite direction. So here I do a little more, about 50% coverage, where I was doing a little bit more coverage. One more. You can relax your arm. I know you're a little, a little tired up there. How you feel? Okay. Good. Now I'm gonna start this. When 
can start with these other ones. you cover all the way up to about two finger widths um, below your underarm. I just want to make sure I cover all that area really nicely. I think that will do it. Okay. Okay, you can relax your arms. Okay, next measures that we're going to be doing this one right here. These are short stretch bandages. These are going to apply most of the compression that you're going to get to move that fluid. Okay, so we're going to wrap around the thumb first. So always think, wrap the bandage towards the side that you're going to wrap. So I'm going to wrap it towards the thumb side first. Here we go. And try to be below the bony prominences. Oh, I meant, yes, I meant to say above, I'm sorry. Thank you, patient. All right. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna come down here to the thumb, you can relax your hand. And you're just gonna kind of pinch it and fold it. And wrap under. You can wrap around one more another time. You wanna go through your thumb probably, um, probably about two times, two or three. From here, you're just going to start wrap, wrapping at 50%. So there's a little first layer, this one's going to cover about half of that. And you're just going to cover about half each time up. I'm just going to go and make it nice and kind of pushed into me. You don't have to, you can keep it down if you want. Just relax it a little bit more, and it's kind of hard to hold your elbow. Now, can you bend for me? Okay, so there's the crease. All right, I think I'm gonna end. You can relax. I'm gonna end it right before the crease, and then I'm gonna show you how to do that part of it. Okay, you can relax again. I'm just gonna take this down. Okay, now I'm gonna start with the next one. So you want to move from small to big in your bandages. So the first one was a six, size six. This one's an eight, and this one's a ten. Pushing them again. If you want to rest on the table and push, you're so welcome to do that. Okay, so bend your elbow right there. So when you get to the elbow, I'm going to first do an anchor. I'm going to anchor a little bit below it. And I'm going to start. I'm going to go this side. So I'm starting a new bandage. I'm going to follow the own rules, right? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an X. So I'm going to cross the elbow here. Come around behind and make an X. And that just allows for uh, more uh, elbow movement, it's less restriction. And then I'm going to start wrapping at 50% again. Perfect. Okay, to finish it off, um, I have this long piece of tape. I usually like to tape it. Um, I have a big piece of tape that covers most of your arm, about three fourths of your arm, to finish it off because it helps to hold it in place just a little bit better than if I use a shorter piece of tape. Okay, you can relax your arm. A little bit here. Now, can you, I want to see you uh, test your movement. So, can you bend your elbow like if you're feeding yourself? Can you get your arm to here? I actually want to reapply this tape a little bit better. Okay, now I want to see if you can um, bend your elbow to your feet. Can you go behind your head? When you're doing your hair. What about behind your back? Alrighty, so that's good. Okay, um, now that I've wrapped it, okay, you're gonna leave this on um, until you see me next time, okay?
and I want you to encourage, I want to encourage you to use this arm. Um, you may be like, oh, it's wrapped. I don't really want to do things with it, but um, if you do things with it, you're going to use those muscles, which is going to help pump that fluid even more. Um, but I do advise you don't lift anything more than 10 pounds. Um, you also, when you take showers, um, you want to put it in a bag, trash bag, plastic wrap. Uh, you don't want to get it wet. And also avoid hot showers. Um, also, don't wear any restrictive clothing on this side, so nothing real tight. And um, besides that, um, you're just going to keep it on. If you, if you see anything, um, like any uh, change in skin color or anything, uh, weird like that, if you have numbness or tingling, I want you to go ahead and take it off. Um, and we'll um, fix it next time. We'll rack a little bit um, less tight. And then, but if you do see any skin discoloration, anything like that, probably need to um, call your physician uh, immediately just to um, figure out what's going on. And um, next time we're gonna do some exercises to help move that fluid a little bit more and we'll take it off and um, we'll wash it. Um, if you ever do need to wash it, you're just going to um, wash it with warm water and soap and you're just going to um, hand wash it and lay it flat to dry. Okay. And that's really everything. Thank you for, for being, do you have any questions? Okay, thank you so much.